Hi friends, Zoe here. Today I am going to be talking to you about doing some work around your own personal darkness or shadow self. So without further ado, let's get started. video is going to be one of those esoteric ones, one where I'm going to share my personal experience with you and what I've learned through overcoming the dark night of the soul, which I think happened a couple times in my life. <laughs> so I'm just going to be sharing through my experience and what I've learned about doing my own work through my personal darkness. Personal darkness is just the term that resonates with me and you might have heard of this before as shadow work or exploring your shadow self, but to me it just feels like my dark side of the moon, if you will. That's how I kind of view it as this side that I tried to hide and suppress from other people. And yeah, similar to the moon, we see the, the beautiful glowy side, but there there is a dark side. And so that's why I refer to it as my personal darkness. So I've been pretty open with my journey for you guys. And I just really appreciate all the respect and the positive feedback I get in that. I share because I know how much doing my own work has transformed my life and that is my goal through sharing with you. So I just ask you to please be respectful because the things that I do share, they are deeply personal and I feel compelled to share with you through my intuition or my higher self, it's calling to share, whereas like my ego self tends to feel like a little bit uncomfortable when I do have these vulnerable moments, but um, I always appreciate getting your positive feedback and when I just receive even if it's just one comment about how my vulnerability or sharing something with you has changed your life. I just really appreciate that. So thank you so much. And if this content resonates with you, I just really encourage you to leave a comment or leave a thumbs up to let me know. So today I'm going to talk to you more about the shadow self or the personal darkness that might happen for you. And this is part of the spiritual awakening process. The reason for this, the reason for the darkness to show itself that you perhaps may have suppressed is a call from your higher self to answer to your intuition, to answer and know yourself again. So I'm gonna give the example for you guys, which I feel like a lot of you can relate to, is I was in a past toxic and abusive relationship. I got myself into that relationship because I was just feeling very vulnerable and a little bit you know, lost, uneasy in my own life, I would say that I didn't have like two feet planted on the ground. And then I got swept up into this relationship and it was toxic from the beginning and I tried to cut it off, but there was manipulation, all sorts of toxic things going on. And through that relationship, I felt like I had lost myself. I was swept up in it and I lived my life day by day until looking back, I realized I'd been in this for six months. I'd been in this for a year and there was nothing getting better and everything was getting worse, uh, not just in the relationship, but in my life. Things started to turn tumultuous and essentially I felt abandoned my source or kind of feeling very lost by the universe, like not feeling like my path, which had once seemed very clear and had once had a lot of synchronicities had faded away. And so I was desperately longing for a relationship with myself and a relationship with my own spirituality. And that's when the call from the higher self started to like knock on me. It manifested in ways that I was very sick. I lost a lot of weight, I was just very tired. Life just turned tumultuous. And it kind of goes with this quote that says, I had to make you uncomfortable or you wouldn't have moved, said the universe. So there's been a couple of periods or chapters in my life where this has happened. This is just one example. It got to the point where I was so desperate for an answer. I had locked myself in the bathroom and I was crying and just feeling so deeply, deeply, deeply lost and just, just wanted a sign, just wanted an answer because I had no idea what to do next. I could not see what the future could hold for me. I felt like I had lost all the visions I had for myself. I had completely lost myself. And I had this voice come in and said, this is not your life. Like it literally felt like a voice that said, this is not your life. And then I had a vision that showed travel, Europe, like abundance, happiness. That's your life. That's the life that you had left behind. Because when I got myself into this relationship, all of a sudden my visions started to diminish and diminish and diminish. 
So for example, this darker period of time when I said I was getting sick and I was longing for answers, I would consider to be one of the dark nights of the soul because I felt abandoned and I just wanted to sign. When I got my sign, when the intuition came through, I realized I had to honor it because it had been so long since I heard that voice. And I truly believe that a lot of us go through these different chapters of our life and sometimes history has to repeat itself. I'm one who could say history has repeated itself in regards to me losing my intuition or not acknowledging it, knowing that it's come through and not answering to it. The more and more that we don't do that, the more and more unpleasant or uncomfortable things show up in our lives and it's just a guidance to turn back and look within and look within our higher self. So when it comes to shadow work or like exploring your personal darkness, you will know what you need to work on. You will have definite glimpses of what is holding you back from allowing the vision and the higher self to come through. So I'll let you know what some things I did personally to avoid doing my own work through my personal darkness or my shadow like I expressed in the most previous video. I used travel as a form of escapism. I distracted myself through all sorts of things. So most of the time, as you can recognize in your life, if you are being called to work through something that feels uncomfortable, the ego will guide you towards distractions. Travel, escapism, binging on Netflix, making a whole lot of plans, just busying up your schedule so that you don't have to spend time by yourself. <laughs> One thing that I did, which was really out of character for me, is I started to watch celebrity gossip YouTube channels. And that's just never really been something that I've been interested in, but apparently like that was just another distraction by the ego. So avoiding the shadow work, the personal darkness work can show up as these distractions. So I just want you to ask your Self right now if there's something that you're avoiding within if there's an uncomfortable feeling that keeps arising and you're suppressing it by distracting yourself this is probably a call for you to do some of this shadow personal darkness work so how do you do the work once you know that there's something coming to the surface that you're not facing how do you begin to do the work I've been quite open with my journey uh, through coaching that has helped me a lot you can also use therapy to work through things of the past but there are a lot of things that you can do on your own and I definitely encourage you that if you don't feel a call towards coaching or therapy valid if, if that's something that you need to do I have multiple coaches so I love it <laughs> but I definitely do encourage you to do a lot of inner work when it comes to this because if you can sit with yourself and sit in discomfort and allow the discomfort to arise and pass away and recognize it for what it is you're giving yourself power and you're giving yourself self-love and compassion for working through what is not sitting well with you so recent shadow work recent personal darkness work that i've done uh, had to do with my past relationship the abusive toxic relationship and i was very open with you guys in a video about that but also in regards to my relationship with my mother. And that's the one I wanna bring up with you here because a lot of the time our personal darkness and shadow work actually has to do with our relationship with our parents. And even if your parents are like the perfect parents, amazing, there might've been certain things that happened in your childhood that you actually chose to internalize and suppress. So an example could be you're sitting at the dinner table and maybe one of your parents had a very stressful day at work and just tells you, stop talking or something and you internalize that as no one wants to hear what I have to say and the inner child within you has suppressed feelings and emotions and from different moments that have allowed you to not recognize your truest most abundant form so the more and more that you chose to internalize and suppress stories and not work through them the more and more work that you'll have to do to bring them to the surface and I definitely want to validate for you it's uncomfortable but i encourage you to sit with yourself and sift through this darkness and ways to do that is to simply get quiet and ask yourself when or who or what scenario in my life occurred that allowed me to create a story that i was unworthy of my visions or my dreams or my goals or held me back sit with these types of questions and try to bring up memories because if you can bring up a memory that doesn't sit with you very good but you can sit with the memory don't judge the memory don't try to make answers for the memory or don't try to 
make up even more stories, but just sit with the memory and see, you know what, I recognize that in that moment when that person said those words to me, I was hurt. If you can sit with that hurt and just recognize it for what it is and offer yourself compassion and just, it was okay for me to feel sad, of course. It was okay for me to feel angry. It was okay for me to feel ashamed. I was only a child. I was only a teenager. I was only, you know, just going through the motions of life. Offer yourself compassion through these memories and sit with them. And, you know, I find that it actually helps to put my hands on my heart and just cultivate energy through there. You'll be able to have a release. It's hard to put into words, but if you can just bring up the memories, like I said, if there's a time when you felt like you were unworthy or you felt ashamed or you just felt like there was a block towards your higher self because this is what the shadow work is calling you to do it's calling you to clean out the suppressed emotions the suppressed memories and scenarios and the more and more that you can bring them to the surface imagine like you're filtering out your own body like you would filter water if you can filter out the bad memories of the past or stories that you told yourself the more and more cleansed you're going to feel and of course the more and more abundance you're going to see manifest in your own life because you're becoming more and more of the being that you came here to be who is abundant, who is positive, who is a pure, vibrant light in this world. And I know a lot of this might seem super esoteric to you guys but if any of it's resonating or if you're still here it's probably because there's something that you need to hear here. But I encourage you that I know that it's uncomfortable. I know that it presents itself as sometimes even crippling anxiety as I felt. But just sit with the discomfort and ask yourself the questions that you need to ask yourself. Journaling also helps, also meditation, but just take the time to get compassionate with yourself. If you guys are interested in coaching, it's always something I offer and you can always reach out via email and I do have one-on-one -on -one programs as this is the deeper work that I actually like to help people work through because I know how much a breakthrough can just change your entire life even after a session or two just of getting through a deep internal block that you have but besides that I just want to let you know that on the other side of all of this shadow and darkness work there is so much light and when you step more and more into that higher self more and more into the real you who didn't internalize stories who didn't internalize darkness who just is exactly who you came here to be Life just becomes a lot easier. Life becomes more fun. It feels like a dream. It feels abundant and vibrant. And the most powerful relationship that you ever have in this life is the relationship with yourself. So think, if there's a friend in your life and you get in a fight with them or you get in some type of argument, naturally you would want to mend that. So I want to ask you, like, what's holding you back from mending the relationship with you have with yourself? Your higher self and this call to work through your personal darkness, that knock in the, in the back of your mind, if you will, it just wants you to recognize the beautiful person that you are. It wants you to release the suppressed emotions, stories, beliefs that you have about yourself so you can feel nothing but worthy, nothing but worthy of this beautiful life that you have. So I hope this video helped you guys and I hope that it inspired you to do some of the work. Like I mentioned, I know that it's uncomfortable, but it, it's always arising and passing away. It's something I learned in Vipassana, it's called Anicca, I probably pronounced it wrong. But every emotion that you feel is arising and passing away. For example, if you're watching this video and you might be feeling happy, you might be feeling sad, you might feel angry, frustrated, that emotion is going to leave you. How you're feeling right now is not how you're going to feel forever. So just know that when you are doing this shadow work and you are bringing up something that's uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable to sit there in anxiety or frustration or pain or, or hurt of the inner child, just know that by you sitting with it, acknowledging it, you're actually giving it the opportunity to release itself. Emotions are energy in motion. Anyways guys, let me know if you have any other advice for anyone down below working through shadow work or personal darkness as I like to refer to it as and we can all help each other down in the comments. Have a wonderful day, I love you, and just remember that you're all worthy of all of the abundance that life has to offer, okay? You're so worthy, you're so beautiful, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.